What we've seen since the lockdown is that people have three needs when it comes to the media they consume, and those haven't changed, but the platforms and the channels they're using to meet those needs have changed. The needs are being connected, being entertained, and being informed. If we look at the first need, being connected, people are using digital and social platforms to, full, to fulfill this need due to the restriction of physical interactions. As a result, there's been a huge increase in the amount of people using social media, messaging, and video conferencing platforms. For example, Zoom has seen users jump from 10 million to over 200 million in three months. The second need is being entertained. And what we have seen is that we are consuming far more content than ever before, with broadcast TV and online video platforms such as YouTube seeing the biggest rise. People are also investing in subscription services. So for example, Disney Plus has almost doubled its global subscriber numbers to 50 million, and Netflix had 16 million new signups since the outbreak. Gaming has also seen a huge surge. The third need, which is being informed, has resulted in online news sites seeing considerable increases in readers, and Twitter has really become the go-to resource for real-time information. Consumption of news channels on broadcast TV has also increased, um, and in response to this need for people to be informed, DSTV have actually given free access to all the 24-hour news channels. As we come out of lockdown in the release phase, uh, we expect to see the rise in online shop shopping continue, but we definitely think it will ex expand beyond food to the likes of clothing and beauty, as there will definitely be some pent up demand. Um, within the reset phase, we believe that some media behaviors will remain as they become far more entrenched. Uh, and for example, consumer journeys in many cases will permanently evolve. So instead of browsing online to buy online, there will be a shift to browse online and then also purchase online. And when it comes to the reframe phase, we expect to see a marked increase in the uptake of technologies that enable virtual experiences. AR, VR and new age tech companies have already reported an increase in demand since COVID-19. And we believe this will be a very exciting kind of space for brands to play in because if used properly, it will allow them to provide truly engaging experiences for consumers.